du monde, même du mois, même coupable, même combat. It definitely takes away from the housing stock. Uh, we already have a lack of social housing, let alone just general housing that's on the private market. Hundreds marched through Montreal's Hochelaga neighborhood Friday, calling for restrictions and even an outright ban on short-term rental companies like Airbnb in Quebec, as they say they are contributing to the housing shortage. A few days away from Quebec's July 1st moving day, housing advocates say real estate speculation is only contributing to the current crisis. Tenants are being uh, kicked out of the apartment, sometimes after 55 years of living in the apartment in order to uh, run a business. They shouldn't be anywhere near here. I don't mind ha having them in the middle of the uh, city where a lot of tourists are coming in, but not in our area. After a fire last year in Old Montreal killed seven people, the Quebec government and the city said they were cracking down on illegal short-term rentals as most of the units in the building were said to be on Airbnb without proper authorization. The tragedy spurred an overhaul of the industry, with Quebec passing a law requiring registration numbers on listings. We even see uh, speculators using the same uh, registration numbers for multiple listings under different owners. It's very easy to bypass these rules, and it's really disappointing because, I mean, people lost their lives um, through this, this negligence. In Hochelaga, Maisonneuve, short-term rentals for commercial use are illegal and are only allowed for residents renting their primary home. But what we are seeing is that uh, landlords are lying. They are saying that is their principal uh, residence, which is not the case, and they are renting uh, full-time on Airbnb. Municipality tells us that it's Quebec that has to apply the law. But Quebec doesn't do anything. More than $1.5 million in fines have been handed out since April 2023 to Montrealers who offered their accommodations on Airbnb without complying with the law. The amounts of fines should be astronomical because we know that little fines doesn't stop speculation. It becomes the cost of doing business. We want to see big fines. Advocates say they want to see municipalities be able to apply the law alongside Revenue Quebec. Quebec's tourism ministry tells City News municipalities have the powers allowing them to regulate tourism tourist accommodations on their territory. The municipality must therefore carry out checks before issuing its notice of conformity in order to ensure, depending on the type of accommodation declared, that it complies with its regulations. They say Revenue Quebec inspectors are on the ground to implement the new provisions of the Tourist Accommodation Act. We see other places like New York, San Francisco, uh, coming down with some pretty solid uh, Airbnb bans, and we see no reason why that can't happen here in Montreal and Quebec. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.